Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Hi. Hey, Miss Patty McCoy. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Can you guys hear me okay? Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Good to see you guys. Hello, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Can you guys hear me? We can hear you loud and clear. Okay, good deal. Welcome, everybody. Hey, hey, hey. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome. Sorry about that. We had a little bit of a delay switching one, uh, just one ID to the next here. But anyway, welcome. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 hello. Nina Moore, are you there? Okay, I see you on there. You're muted. You're muted. I'm here. All righty. Welcome, everybody. Hey, 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 hey. Go ahead and state your name, where you're calling from. Welcome. Hey, Mr. Wilkins. Tracy Fisher's online, sir. Hey, Mr. Fisher. Welcome. Good to have you on. Hello, you, everybody. Sir. Welcome. Juarez and Vivian White, Rose Sharon, Texas. Hey, hey what's up? What's up? Brand new rubies in the house. Let's get that closed out. Hey, hey, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Welcome to Nevada, Ferguson, Dallas, Texas. Hey, Suniata Ferguson, welcome. Good to have you on. Congratulations, breaking another ruby. Yes, sir. Let's get that emerald done. Coming in Let's from get that completed. All righty, welcome. All right, so who else do we have out there? Welcome. Who's that from New York? Salima Mitchell, Albany, New York. Hey, how are you, Miss Mitchell? Good to have you on. Fantastic. New York is in the house. Yes, sir. <laughs> All right, good deal. Who else do we have out there? Hello. Hello, Hello husband. We're in the house. Hey, wife, how are you doing downstairs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. 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 Aaron good. Green, Greensboro, North Carolina. Greensboro, North Carolina is in the house. Welcome. Glad to have you on. Who else? Just taking a quick round of introductions before we get started tonight. Perry Beasley, Houston, Texas. Hey, Here. Mr. Beasley. Welcome, my good friend. Good to have okay. you on, sir. Thank you. Rashid in Stockton, California. Rashid in the house. What's up, brother? You in California, you say? Stockton, in California. All right, all right, all right. Good to hear. Good to hear. Who else is out there? <laughs> Dallas, Texas. Dallas, Texas. Ferguson, what's up? I see you out there TikToking. Good to see you. <laughs> TikToking, yeah. She's playing no games. I see you. Who else is out there? Linda. And hey, Linda. Good to have you. Welcome. Okay, who else? We're taking one more 30-second round, and then we're, we're ready. I'm not sure if you heard me. Stephanie Allen, Baytown, Texas. I did not hear you. I hear you now. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, hey. How she are you? Charlotte, North Carolina. Awesome. All righty. North Carolina is in the house. Welcome. All right, folks, so welcome each and every one of you. Congratulations on an incredible month so far. We've got a whole a day and a half, I guess, a day left. Uh, we got a day left, and we will not come up a dollar short. Uh, that, <laughs> that's for sure. I'm excited about it. This has been an incredible month uh, of business so far. Obviously, we know uh, what's going on in the world today um, uh, when it comes to the COVID-19, and so uh, definitely sending prayers out to each and every one of you and your families. I know we've talked, a uh, few of you, obviously not everybody, but we've had a chance to connect, and, and that's um, that's a, a part of our mission to make sure that everybody's okay, everybody's doing well, everybody's in good spirits, and if anybody is like me, you, you're just kind of plowing through it and making sure you don't lose your mind in the process. And so uh, I'm excited, obviously, to see everybody of uh, everybody on here tonight. I know there are many more people that will catch the recording and some that will come uh, come in through the duration of, uh, of this uh, power hour. And so, you know, tonight is gonna be a, a lot different from what some of you are accustomed to when it comes to a power hour. As you already know, we've moved uh, our training, our Saturday morning team training that we would normally do. We moved it to Monday, 8 p.m. Central, 9 p.m. Eastern for a specific reason. Obviously on Saturdays, we already know people are in the hunt. You guys are working. You're enrolling, you're doing, uh, you, you know, your Zooms, you're working with your teams. And uh, we wanted to make sure that after Saturday, Sunday, we've got obviously the family call, which should be in everybody's calendar, uh, um, the family call to get the updates in terms of what's going on 
uh, at, at, at large when it comes to It Works Global. And so kicking off the week uh, on Mondays when we're actually going to be doing uh, our, our big team calls. Now, obviously, once this COVID-19 is done, uh, many of us, you know, you'll be back to your weekly schedule when it comes to your in-home meetings. Some of you in different, I think Philly does their uh, team event meetings on Monday, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, so Monday, I know Team Philly, you guys will be doing that. And, and, and guys, what you'll see is as the team, as the organization, as the family continues to expand, you're, you're going to have different uh, time zones, different countries, all doing different things at the same time. And so everything will always be systematized for those that can be on their live and those that cannot, they'll just plug into uh, the recordings. Obviously, you know, there are people right now on the team in different parts of the world that are not able to get on live to this particular training, but but that's okay. They can always catch the recording on the website. But anyway, tonight is going to be, like I said, a little different for some of you uh, when it comes to the power. Myself and Nina, presidential top 150 earner, we were talking, obviously many of you, if not all of you know who she is, we, we were talking a little earlier and she was like, well, well what, what's the theme? What, what are you guys doing? What are we doing tonight? And we talked a little bit about not, not only, uh, and you know my philosophy, guys, training doesn't work, but working does train. Uh, I want you to write that in your notes. Training does not work, but working does train. But we were talking about how to, how to really go about and make this effective for many of you. Some of you, you're 1,000 in volume. Some of you are 2,000. Some of you are only 5,000 away in volume. Uh, to cross over to your next promotion, whether it's Ruby, Emerald, Diamond, or above. And so tonight, you're going to really not just hear about training, but we're going to go into what to do to accomplish that, to close out the month. Because if you're building the business correctly, the way it's designed to be built, you ought to be doing more volume in your last seven days than you've done the first, uh, the first 21 days of the month. Your first three weeks of the month, really sets up that last seven days. And, and what I've always found is the last seven days of production are typically much larger than what you've done your first three, three weeks. And your last day of the month is typically all of the volume you've done within the last six, seven days. Most of the times, if you're doing it correctly, you've got people in position to hit their goals and you're closing out. This last 24 hours typically is, is a monumental 24 hours to close out the month. So I, I wanted to, we want to obviously pull this together and, and really have this as a cornerstone for how you're gonna accomplish your goal in the month of March. There's no need to, to push it off. We already know we're under another 30 day, um, I guess some people call it quarantine. Some people call it social distancing, uh, whatever you wanna call it, that, that's fine. Over the next 30 days, that has obviously been extended by the federal government. and so. A lot of us that are on the call, we are counting on you. We're counting on each other to not only lead through this month, but lead in love and lead in action, lead in activity for the next 30 days because they're gonna, there's so many people around the world that are not as fortunate as many of you to have an ongoing income coming from your business at home. There are people right now scrambling, looking earnestly for an opportunity. And so I want to say congratulations to each and every one of you pushing to make that happen. But I want to bring on Nina Moore. Nina, I'm going to transition the call over to you. Why don't you kind of set up the, 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 the template and the infrastructure of, of what we're really going to be talking about and doing together tonight. Obviously, you guys got the text message that went out. We talked about, obviously, bringing your list of prospects. I've got mine. I hope Hopefully, you got yours, okay? Got your list of prospects. Bring out your chart, okay? <laughs> you know, I've got my chart charted out as well and your notebook. So I've got it all three in one in my calendar. And so I, I'm ready to rock and roll. Nina, I'll turn it over to you. I put the spotlight on you as well. Uh, the call and the floor is yours, partner. All right. Well, thank you, Mr. Wilkins. You know, this is the time of the month that I absolutely love, love, love. Um, I already pretty much don't sleep as it is, but when it comes to the end of the month, um, I'm a numbers girl. I love the numbers. I love strategizing on how we're making the parts move all at one time. Um, I am actually, bar I'm going to put up a, a little so we can see the Ruby chart. I, I like to kind of just keep it simple at Ruby um, and with, with people's names there and volume to kind of show you what you should be doing right here now that we're at the end of the month, which technically we should have started this on the 15th. Just so you know, we don't wait until the day before to say, oh, how am I going to close out? 
Um, I will give you this little tidbit. Um, this is just something that I share with um, our, our team is that we do, we do suggest, we do suggest, because we can't tell anyone, right, Mr. Fisher, what to do, but right. we suggest <laughs> if someone wants to have success, right, Mr. Wilkins, just a suggestion that leaders run their auto ships in the first month of the week. So mine runs on, on the first of the month. I don't care if I order products on the last day, the day before, or whatever the case may be, my auto order runs on the first of the month. Leaders, the first through the seventh. Now here's why. Because I'm gonna tell you something. I don't know if it's psychological, but when it says that I am not commissioned qualified, Mr. Fisher, it does something. To, it gives me the EBG, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't like not being when it says, you know, closed ass. Oh, I was like, oh no. So we all run ours on the first. And I'm gonna tell you something. What I also learned, Mr. Wilkins, during our time, and I know Mrs. Wilkins is on here too. I saw Portia on here. During our time of just being a part of the network marketing profession is that the greatest leaders always emerge during times of crisis. So we're going to see leaders kind of like emerge, people that you never would have thought. Like you're not waiting on a Nina Moore to post that we're having an opportunity call when you know we have an opportunity call, right? That's like walking into a room knowing we're having a meeting in an hour and no chairs are set up and you pick up your phone to call me instead of just setting the chairs up, right? Well, sometimes, Mr. Fisher, I'll just wait all day long to see who will post it because I don't think that that's something that should always have to come from someone who's leading, like, let us worry about the big fish. Let us worry about the big stuff, right? But leaders, the greatest leaders, you should write that down, always emerge during the time of crises. So you're going to see some people that you never thought before were, like, going to, like, go diamond or anything like that, right? But I'm going to tell you that this is the time right now because the greatest opportunity always comes during the time of crises as well, right? So we run, leaders run their auto ships the first through the seventh. First through the seventh. We've even been giving, just for you leaders to know, I've done raffles for people who run their auto ships the first week of the month. Mm. That's to give an incentive. So for those of you that are leaders, I give an incentive like, hey, oh, who ran their auto ship this week? Right? And I don't tell them on the first, I'm going to do it. I just will tell them the morning of the day, I'm going to run the raffle and give them until midnight to do it which means if they have not run their auto ship, they need to call customer, well now they can't call. I'm gonna tell y'all something, customer service not being in the, in the home office, they work much faster and they work, they work longer. Right. I got an issue dealt with last night at midnight. Come on, for the win, for the win, no. right through a ticket, right through a ticket. So what you need to do is if you know that there's a raffle or something going on that day, because you know, let's face it, Everybody's not going to be a Portia and Jared Wilkins. Everybody's not going to be a Nina Moore. Everybody's not going to be an Alexander Levy. Everybody's not going to be a Tracy Fisher, a Jennifer Nivens, a Chiquita, right? Not everybody's going to say, oh, it's very important for me to run my auto order. They don't see the importance of that, right? But if they, they're given a little bit of incentive, some people will say, oh, well, I will run it, right? And so I'll run a contest usually around the 7th or the 8th for anyone who's run their auto ship. If they have not run it, they have until midnight of the day, they need to send a ticket into corporate to say, I need you to run this order as my auto ship today. And corporate will push it through. They will push it through. All right, now, so that's a way to make sure we're generating our volume early on. Now, you're saying, oh, you just want me to run my auto ship, Nina, so, so you know, you, you get, no, no, I'm trying to get your, you to run your order early before the 15th so that we can get a gauge, a visual of what's taking place in the organization. Right. That's the importance of running the auto ship by the 15th of the month. So on the 15th, I can say, uh-oh, uh-oh, wait a minute, Mr. Wilkins. Marguerite, she looked like she going diamond this month. Based on where the numbers are by mid-month, we know what we need to do going towards the end of the month because what I explain or what I teach is that you should always be enrolling your heaviest amount of business builders or distributors either the last few days of the month or your first 10 days of the month. Why? Why then? Because then you've got time to duplicate, cause duplication in your organization by launch calls, launch calls, launch calls, launch calls, launch calls. We're not doing home parties right now because I don't want the Rona. 
all right? But we're going to do launch calls, launch calls, launch calls, launch calls. And so if you put your business partners in early in the month, then you're driving duplication, you're driving depth, and you're driving volume all the rest of the month until maybe the last days again. Right now, we know that we have... Um, uh, those incentive, the incentive of, of enrolling for forty nine fifty, and that's a pretty big darn deal. We should be mass enrolling right now. Let everybody get in. We the numbers don't lie, Mr. Wilkins. One or two out of ten are going to work. One or two out of ten are going to do something. That doesn't even mean that they're going to actually go diamond. It means that they'll probably at least get their six loyal customers right, and they may even launch enough to get structured for Ruby. Now for me. For me, I don't feel that a person is launched until they've got three business partners and six loyal customers. That is the process. That is the process, right? Six loyal customers and three business partners. They are structured for Ruby because rubies create diamonds. So here's what I've done. These are some tidbits that you're going to write down right now. Some of the things that I've done that have caused people to either rejoin, reactivate their accounts, drive volume is I went through all of my canceled distributors and I called them and I asked them to be loyal customers. And I would say that I probably got 85 to 90% that said yes. So go through and see who's canceled. Go through and see which one of the distributors have, you know why they did love the products. They love the products. And that skinny brew though, that skinny brew got everybody, like, I'm going to tell y'all something. I'm going to let y'all in on a little secret. I purposely didn't drink the skinny brew today. Just because I wanted to see, am I going to be okay? I have been not good all day. Mr. Fisher, I felt like I was having, like, like at, at some moments of the day, I felt like I was having this, no, seriously, like anxiety. Because I didn't drink the brew. There is something in that brew. So, I reached out to all of my cancel. I've, I have re-enrolled about 10 distributors who canceled their accounts because people are coming back. They're coming back. Now, listen, I also reach out, and you should do this tonight. Reach out to 20 people in your phone, not asking about the business, not asking, send them a text message, not asking them, are you still ready to order? Are you still ready to join my team? No. Send out a message to about 20 people and say, hello, how are you? I'm just checking on you. I want to see how are you and your family holding up during this time of quarantine? Have a conversation back and forth with them because guess what? At the end of that conversation, you'll find a way to loop to Skinny Brew and Confianza because during this time, Skinny Brew and Confianza are two products that people cannot live without. I mean, Mrs. Nivens, can I get an amen? Whoop, whoop, right? We can't live without Skinny Brew and Confianza. Why? Because of the anxiety levels. Let's keep it real. I don't care how much faith you have. I don't care how much we believe in Jesus. There are some people that are just having some concerns right now, and they're having some anxiety, and Skinny Brew helps us stay focused, and Confianza mellows us out, right? Keeps us straight. So reach out. Matter of fact, take a moment right now and send five text messages to some people because this is a working power hour. Send five text messages to people just saying, hello. I just wanted to reach out to you and check on you. How are you, especially if they're older? How are you or single moms? How are you and your family making out during this time of crises? Now pick five people. And then what I want you to do after that, after you send out the text message to those five people, hello, how are you? I'm just checking in on you. How are you making out? You came across my mind. I'm just checking, I, I, I text 30 salon owners today, hello. How are you? I, you? You know, my heart is bleeding because I understand how you're feeling or what you would be feel, what you might, may be feeling like because your salon is closed down right now. How are you coping during this time? Then go to their Facebook or their Instagram, wherever you engage with them the most and go start liking their pictures or comment. Don't just like, comment on three of their pictures. 
take the time to do that right now. Don't worry, this is being recorded. You'll get the recording. Don't worry. I'm going to keep talking, but you got to move into action because what's going to happen is they're going to see something on your wall that's going to, because now there's going to be some engagement going between you and them. That's the way to get engagement going. Not liking their pictures. You have to go comment. See, listen, we've got to move to a place where we're understanding how this, how social media is moving. We've got to understand the moving parts of social media or we are not going to win right now. Now, thank God our volume is thorough. It's, it's been good. It was, it, it was back to normal early in the month. Like it did, the uh, virus or the quarantine did not affect um, our numbers. Like, honestly, I thought that it would. Mr. Wilkins, I had a day or so that I was a little concerned. I, I was a little, I was like, oh, I don't know. But people, listen, Forbes, write this down. Forbes put out a message, uh, uh, an article um, two days ago, you all, that said 79 million people will join a home-based business in the next five years. That is a fact. Forbes posted it. 79 million people. So the importance of follow-up, Mr. Wilkins, we always say that you've got to keep following up. The fortune is in the follow-up. Well, people's lives have changed in the last 90 days. Everybody has a life cycle, and every 90 days, people's lives are changing. Well, we're at a place now where the world has changed. There's no way around it. Every person you know is impacted by what's taking place today. Think about those people when you're sending out your hello, how are you? Do not ask about a product. Do not ask about joining you. Hello, how are you? You crossed my mind. How are you coping during this time of quarantine or whatever you want, however you want to end it? You know how you would normally sound in your language. All right? Now, after you do, go ahead, I'm going to let you do that. Well, we're normally playing a little music to let people go do that right now. Um, but do, 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 act like there's music on. Don't worry, we're not going anywhere. We want you to take some time right now to send out those messages. Now, you're copying and pasting. You're copying and pasting. So yes, the only thing that's going to change is don't send a message to Bill that you intended to send to Derek, right? So change where you, where you would put the name. Okay. All right. Thanks, um, thanks um, Jared. Don't, don't put the wrong name in place. All right. Make sure you're sending that message to the right person. When you copy and paste it, take the person's name out and do make it personal and send their name, all right? This is what we do on our working Zooms. You gotta move to action, right? Because there's one thing that we can train you. Oh, you need to write your list. Oh, you need to write your, now, for those of you that are new to the business and or you have just rejoined, if you're new to the business and or you just rejoined, what I want you to do is I want you to write down the names of 10 people that know, love, like, and trust you. Because what you're getting ready to do is you're getting ready to get some loyal customers, right? Because you don't want to go out of this month without your six loyal customers. We can get loyal customers. I'm, I'm going to tell you exactly what to say. Lean in. I'm going to tell you exactly what to say to get those loyal customers in the system on tonight, no later than tomorrow. Six of them, right? So if you're brand new, you are right now writing down the names of 10 people who know, love, like, and trust you. That's your grandmama and them. Your Aunt Sue who you know love coffee. Your cousin. That's Ray Ray and them. Pookie and them. That's all your people who know, love, like, and trust you. These are not the people that you want to be your business partners. But getting these six loyal customers in is essential for the growth of your business especially if you just joined during this promotion, you already know that you're going to get your $50 back and you're going to get your $150 in product rewards, which you can flip, which I know you need right now because you could turn that $150 worth of free product into about $400. See, I'm the ultimate, show me the not, I'm going to show you how to make this money. All right, now, for those of you who wrote down the names of 10 people who know, love, like, and trust you. This is the message you're going to send to those people. Hello. Or you're going to actually call them. 
one or the other. If you call them, make sure your first thing that you ask them is, is this a good time? Why? Because if you don't ask if this is a good time, you can forget it. They busy. And no matter what you're saying, it sounds like they don't hear you. But if you say, is this a good time? And they say, yes, they're open to hearing what you're saying. Now, the rest of what I'm saying can be through a text message or a phone call. Here's what I'm going to say to you. Don't text. Call. People will hear the urgency in your voice and they will hear the words that you're saying. So here's, it's going to go something like this. Hey, Uncle Tracy, right? I'm calling Uncle Tracy. Uncle, hey, Uncle Tracy. How you doing, Uncle Tracy? I'm good. How are you? I'm amazing. Hey, Uncle Tracy, is this a good time? It is. It's okay. Good time. Awesome. Awesome. Well, Uncle Tracy, listen, listen. I just joined a new company, right? Oh my God, I just joined a new company. But wait a minute, wait a minute, Uncle Tracy. Uncle Tracy, wait. I'm not asking you to join me. Okay. Okay. I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> See, I know you thought I was asking you to join me. I'm, okay. I'm not asking you to join me. But there is something that I do need from you. Okay. I need your help. I don't have any money, Nina. I need I your have... help. Uncle Tracy, I need your help. Okay, what you need? What you need, baby? Now, explain to people what happened when I told you that I needed your help. Initially, I'm thinking about, okay, how much money she need for her rent? How much money she need, <laughs> um, right. you know, during this crisis? What, what does she need? What does she need for, for the light bill? Something like that. That's initially what I'm thinking, right? And so, if you're, if you're, but if I'm asking about the money side, then all of a sudden you bring it back down. Right. So you make it seem like it's bigger than really what it, what it actually is. And so go ahead and continue. All right. So I need your help. Here's what I need from you. Okay. I need, because I'm part of this new company. So when I say that I'm part of the new company, that already negates me having to tell you what the products are about. Absolutely. I don't have to explain it. I said right. I'm part of a new company. I need, what I do need is I need product testers who will test at least one product for me for 90 days and then give me your honest testimony about the product. Now listen, Uncle Tracy, my yes. mentor has challenged me. I have to get my six VIP product testers in the system in the next 24 hours. You said and VIP? I yeah, you're a VIP. So there's Ooh. some perks. There's some perks that you're gonna get, Uncle Tracy. You're gonna earn these what they call I don't know. They call them like reward points, where you're gonna earn back ten percent of the order that you're placing with me. You're only on auto order for ninety days, which means you're gonna order today. You'll only be responsible for one order in April, one order in May. After that, you are no longer on auto order, but you are a lifetime member. You can order Ooh. as much as you like as little as you like, you're in full control of your account. You're in full control and after 90 days, you're able to cash in on those perk reward points which are like money. It's like a Costco account. Okay, uh, you, have any, you have anything for uh, maybe weight loss? I sure do, let me oh. tell you something. Now I oh. know you love coffee, Uncle Tracy, I know you love coffee, oh my God. We have this skinny brew coffee. Skinny brew. Skinny Brew. It okay. tastes fantastic. I had some at a party I went to last week. This Skinny Brew coffee is amazing. Listen, what I'm going to do is this, Uncle Tracy. You know, I'll need you to try it for 90 days. We need you to get at least a 30-day serving so you have a, a cup for every day. I know you love coffee. Now, I know your wife. I, I know she's going to be trying to steal your coffee. Yeah, she will. She I will. Know. So what we're going to do is we're going to start you off at it, at least a 30-day supply. I'm going to send you a link right to my shopping cart that you can check out with. Or... I'll put the order in for you right now. Which would you prefer? You know, I'm a little, I'm a little bit tied up right now, so I can't personally get to the computer. Can you do it for me and I kind of walk you through it? Absolutely. Boom. <laughs> and that's how that goes. So that's the cool. thing is, need. There's something that happens for you all that you don't understand that you got to get on the phone because Uncle Tracy or Aunt Sue or your grandma or your mom or your dad, they need to hear this is not a g gimmick. You're not trying to get me to join. You just need my help and you want my honest opinion. Now, listen, people can't wait to give you their opinion. 
because they want you to be wrong. Right. Right. They right. want you to be wrong. And now <laughs> I'm asking you to give me your honest opinion on these particular products. I don't care how many you get, but I need you. These first six that get in, I don't care what they get. I don't care if they buy a bottle of Confianza. Wow. And right now, the BOGO qualifies people. So I would be calling people right now saying, hey, listen, there's a lot going on in the world right now. I don't need you to join my business, but I do need you to be a product tester. And with all of the things that are going on in the world right now, listen, I can get you in on our huge BOGO deal. It's $39. You're going to buy one, get one free, not even $40 to try a product that's going to help to build your immune system because I don't want for you to get sick. Yo, Ms. Nader, can, Ms. Nader, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Okay, first of all, I love the fact that you're calling me about it because I can feel your energy. I can feel. So there's something called the sense of urgency behind your voice. I can't, I can't feel the text message. If you text me that same information, I can't feel that. But I can most certainly feel the sense of urgency that you need my help and you're leaning on that relationship. And so sometimes I have to remind a person, hey, you, you remember when I, when I supported your, your Girl Scouts. You remember that, right? So sometimes you have to bring up what you've done for a person, um, you know, it, uh, maybe a time or two. So I just wanted to make that point that I can most certainly feel what you're saying. So as my niece, I, won't, I most certainly want to support my niece. Absolutely. There you go. Uh -huh. And that's yep. what's so important with the language of saying, I need your help. There's not one person who needs to get their six loyal customers in that should close the month tomorrow without those six loyal customers. If you need the physical script, send me a message. I will send it to you because I do have that written out. But it's as simple as that. I don't want you, you have to say, I don't want you to join. I'm not trying to get you to join. Because what that did when I said that to Uncle Tracy, it took your guard down. Mm -hmm. You were able to take the wall down. Right. So don't try to go around the script. The script works because it's psychological. All right, you all? So that's for you all to get your six customers. I know that most of you have already reached out to some people. Now let's pull up the um, presentation and let's talk about at least, I will, I'll send it to you, no problem. Let's talk about, let me, uh, I'm sorry, you guys, hold on one second. Let me try to figure out how to, there we go. Let's share the screen and bring this up and let's go to our Ruby chart. I know that we have so many people right now that are literally, we've got a young lady on the line right now, Mr. Fisher, she's 62 points away from Ruby. We've Come got on, another man. gentleman on the line right now. I know he's like 250 points away from Ruby, which means uh, Karen Weatherby um, is literally, I don't know, she's, she's, she's about 2,000 away from Emerald, which takes Marguerite Diamond. So literally, th there are people, I mean, we work, and I heard uh, what Pamela Ferguson, Sundiata, they're, they're like uh, get ready to pop another ruby. And so here's the deal. We're, we're overlooking the fact that this business is very, very simple. Mm -hmm. It's simple. Ladies and gentlemen, you're forgetting the fact that you're looking for three business partners, not five but three, three. Now I know that this says four loyal customers. We have not updated this. Basically this should say six. This is our old, pre old way of looking at it, but it does show you that there are three business partners. Now here's the deal. Because we are social media driven right now or social influence right now because of the uh, social distancing, think about all of the people you know who have big networks on social media that if they put up a post a few times, it's going to drive a bunch of customers to them. They don't need to know how to build the business. You can run it for them, but you need to know that, yes, our spouse, if you're married, that should be one of your first positions. It's a no-brainer because once you get your position in, you're no longer concerned about your position. You're concerned about the three that come underneath you, which will be your spouse and two people who may work the business. So this is just to show you that this is what you're looking for. It's 150 in product credit. But the most important thing is I want to go to this chart right here. When we're looking at this chart, I like to say, if everybody looks at getting seven customers at 60 volume, it secures the rank. Why? 
because everyone is supposed to run at least an 80 volume auto ship anyway. So if you remove the 80 volume from your position and the three underneath you, we're talking about 80 times four is 320, right, Shavia? We take 2,000 volume, which is what we need for Ruby, and we subtract the 320, which leads us, y'all know I'm a numbers girl. Let me get my calculator back out. You have to have a calculator at month in. If you're taking the 2,000 volume, subtracting the 320, it leaves us with 1680. When you take 1680 and divide 1680 by 60 volume, that leaves 28 customers. 28 customers. So if you take all of the legs, 28 divided by four legs of business, leaves everyone getting seven customers at 60 volume, and boom, you're literally going to hit Ruby. You need every position to come in with a boost of at least 80 volume or more. Now, if they boost with more than 80 volume, that's fantastic. But you need seven customers at 60 volume, and all of the three positions underneath you need seven customers at 60 volume, and you are Ruby. Now, how do you make that work faster? Everybody comes in with a boost package. Everybody comes in with a boost package, and then everybody runs to get their six customers. But this is what it looks like. What you need to be checking right now at month end is, has everyone run their auto ship? Is everyone commissioned qualified? Why? Because you will not get paid if you are not. Auto ship, you all, is a non-negotiable. So we should be running our auto ships. It's a non-negotiable, right? Now, now we're looking to make sure that each leg underneath us, I know the company says 400. I am just telling you, if you look at making sure each leg is 500 volume, it, gets, it makes this much easier to hit Ruby. So you go 500 and each position underneath you does 500 volume, it's much easier to hit Ruby like that. Does everybody see this? Is, are there any questions? If there are, please unmute your phone. Um, mute your phone. If you have any questions while we're right here, Ruby is you. And at 80 volume auto ship, make sure that you're commission qualified. Make sure you've got your six customers. And then every position underneath you should be, to me, at least 500 volume, not just 400, to make sure that you're knocking those Rubies out quickly, quickly. Now, sometimes this means that you've got to get on the phone with your reps and their people because they're afraid to do it. But if you can walk them through how to get those first couple of customers in there, and I know, I know, you're like, well, that's a lot of work. Well, I like the big money, so I'm gonna do what it takes to make it happen. I'm not gonna do that forever for someone, but if I've gotta walk them through the first two, right? If I've gotta get on a Zoom and have them put their people on the phone and put it on speaker so that I can help walk them through what to say, I'm willing to make the investment if I know that that person just doesn't understand that they've got influence that they don't understand they have, all right? So this is what Ruby looks like, 2,000 in volume. You wanna make sure that's what Emerald looks like, 5,000 in volume. This is what Emerald looks like. All of these charts are in your e-suite. Please make sure you go visit your e-suite. Listen, don't make not having a printer a reason why you don't have a chart. Draw it out, draw it out. Draw circles, take away all of the excuses because excuses are the tools of the incompetent and those that use them seldom have any success. All right, so I hope this helped us all understand how we need to go Ruby. I'm gonna stop this screen share. Um, we're looking at numbers. You're looking at people, go get on the phones. You guys get on the phones. If I, can't, if I can't express anything more, I'm gonna say right now, it's important to get on the phones. Listen, the last thing, and I'm turning it back over to you, Mr. Wilkins. For those of you who are close to hitting a rank, listen, you need to put up a post several times saying I am this many orders away from completing my rank. If you're going for Emerald and you're close to Emerald and you've got, you need 600 volume, take 600 and divide that by 30 or divide it by 40 or whatever, whatever volume you want to see come in from each customer, create a pack for your customers. If you're a hairstylist and you know you want everybody to come in with hair, skin and nails and collagen, you should know how much that, that volume is. Then you take that number 600 divided by the, num the volume that you are asking each person to do and then you'll know 
what number of orders you need. Don't be afraid to post, I am 10 orders away from, I am 10 customers away from hitting my next rank. And you should be posting that right now, right now. Who on my timeline loves coffee? Who on my timeline wants to grow their hair out? Who on my timeline does not want to gain a quarantine 15? Y'all know it. Freshman 15, quarantine 15. Right? Start posting those posts so that you can help people stay fit while they're doing what? Sitting around the house and eating. All right, so we hope this helps. I'm going to turn the call back over to you, Mr. Wilkins. Okay, can you hear me? You can, okay. <laughs> I don't know. All right, let's see here. Um, all right, let's make, uh, Nina, you're going to probably have to make me back the host. And um, then what I want to do, <clears throat> what I want to do, because again, I, I love this flow of interaction. I want to, um, uh, let's see here. All right, good. Let's see if we can get everybody unmuted. Okay, everybody's unmuted. Good. All right, let me mute everybody again. You're the host now. You're the host. Okay, cool. So you can unmute yourselves, guys. Any any questions? Questions as it relates to promoting in terms of strategies. Questions. Floor is open for any questions, guys. This is just us sitting down. We're talking. Um, I, I want to make sure that we've got you clear on what you need to be doing the next few hours here, and then all day tomorrow. Uh, to get yourself, for those of you that you're in position this month, to reload, to get your reload bonus. You got to get that done. For those of you that you're in position to get your ruby, get to ruby. Some of you are in position to get diamond, requalifying your rank, rank advancing, whatever that is. I want to open up the lines to make sure we can answer whatever questions you, you may have as it relates to clarity, certainty, or even strategy. So the lines are open. Hello, hello, can y'all hear me? Yes, we can, go ahead, honey. Okay. No question or anything, just to comment, I want to say this was absolutely incredible, I love it. Um, and I, I really do believe that it was what people needed to hear. You know, in our, in our time in the profession, we always break down the month to where like the last 10 days of the month is the red zone. So the first 10 days is the white zone, the middle of the month is the blue zone. And the end of the month is the red zone. And typically, whatever you did between zone one and two, uh, white zone and blue zone, you will double and sometimes triple in the red zone. So basically, the beginning of the month are all the seeds that you're sowing. So that's why Nina said, you know, run your auto ship and put in the work to get your customers and do all that at the beginning to lay the foundation so that when it's red zone time, you, you already know what you're working with. And so you're able to run through the end of the month versus just to the end of the month. And I know there's a lot of you on the line here that are running hard. And because of the momentum that you have this week and maximizing this time and seeing the positive and what's going on versus focusing on the negative, I know for a fact that a lot of you are set up to maybe even skip a rank next month. And so I believe that for a lot of you. So great work tonight, Nina, Tracy. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you, honey. I'll turn it back over to you. Absolutely. And congratulations to my wife. She's been over there enrolling some loyal customers, Nina. She's <laughs> it took... I just put in a DT. Boom. Come on, DT. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun, guys. I'm telling you, it's fun. She uh, uh Nina's got her DT put in, and and I know many of you, you're out there, you're out there rocking and rolling. So let us know as those are coming. We attempt to do our best to, when, when we get new partners that we've enrolled, we take the screenshot, we put them in our stories and, and that type of thing, congratulating folks for, for coming on board. So make sure you're doing that. It's always exciting and engaging. I love what Nina was talking about. Guys, you know me, man. I, I'm a big proponent of online and offline. Obviously, we're all quarantined. We're, 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 we're home-based, but not homebound, meaning you can leverage social media. You can leverage it like we've been doing and even all the more now. Uh, the only thing that has changed really is we're not doing physical or in-home events. We just, we're doing our events via uh, 
via Zoom and, and of course, Facebook and even Instagram. And so the, the activity is the same. I was talking with Mara. Many of you know uh, she just literally created history inside of It Works. She became the first double ambassador in the company, okay? Wow. Uh, which is which is saying a whole lot, okay? Uh, she was over a half a million dollars in qualifying volume. It's one thing, you know, to do a half a million in volume, and it's another to do a half a million in qualifying volume where that volume is properly balanced and structured through certain legs of business. So um, we were talking, and, and, and her conversation to me was, Jared, man, you, you have no idea the, the inspiration that this organization has meant for her and her team. And I'm sitting there, Nina, Tracy Beasley, I, I'm sitting there like, you have no idea what your story is meaning, not just for our team, but the entire company. It took m my belief to a whole nother level to see a young lady like her that has no experience. I don't even call her, you know, I, I think for me just, you know, vocabulary is everything, language is everything, language is the software of the mind. I had to stop calling these these women girls. Oh, we got these girls. No, these are these women are killing it. You understand me? Mm -hmm. They're killing it. They don't have experience. They, they've never done anything like this before, but they've got work ethic. They have influence and they have they have they have the commitment to finish it out. So, you know, I, it doesn't matter if you're you're right there in Emerald. You're right there. You're right there to Ruby. Stretch yourself this month, wherever you thought you were going to lay down. Guys, listen to me. I, I'm not saying this for our benefit. You, you, you'll never hear me get on here and talk about, oh, you know, do this. So Jared and Portia can, you know, reload. And, and so, no, guys, you know, we're not about that. That was done last week, okay? That, that was finished last week. I'm, I'm talking about for you and your income. I'm talking about for you and your family, you and your business. I'm talking about you going to the next level, not in April. April showers is going to come, okay? <laughs> April is going to be incredible. But I'm talking about right now for March, finishing out March these next 24 hours. I'm telling you, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, we're right there. You're, you're, you're right there. The difference between water being hot and water boiling, okay? And look at Mara texting right now. <laughs> the difference between water being hot and water boiling is one degree. Not two. She says, I'm still working on some promotions. <laughs> they're still, guys, they're doing what we're doing. That means we're right in alignment. They, they're, she and her team, they're working or getting people past executive, getting people past Ruby. Uh, uh, <laughs> I mean, folks are working right now, man. This is incredible. But but guys, I'm telling you right now, um, any questions that we have real quick, any questions, comments, as relates, you know, everybody's unmuted. You can unmute your line. You can chime in uh, when you want to here. Mr. Wilkins. Go ahead, Mr. Beasley. It's on you. Okay, yes. Thank you very much. I enjoyed this training this evening. I just first and foremost want to uh, just reiterate what Nina was talking about uh, a couple things that stood out with me uh, is the fact that you know the statement she said the psychology in I need your help uh, also can you do me a huge favor because people are more inclined to want to help you as opposed to them feeling like you're gonna make money off of them so that's something right there is very you know right is worth reiterating because it's very powerful there and uh, also you just want to comment on something you just said you know, hitting the next level. I've been there. I mean, I'm talking about, I was on the phone with corporate 12 o'clock and then got disconnected, okay? <laughs> got disconnected. But, you know, fortunately, we have this thing where they can uh, backdate, okay, the next day. And that's very uh, important. But you don't want to go to that point uh, where you're having uh, maybe something backdated after the month's over. But it's there for you just in case some technicality or what have you. And uh, also, you know, you say go to the next level for yourself. Yes, that's true. You also go to the next level for your family. Yes, I, I, I agree with that. But you also need to go to the next level for your team, okay? That's going to energize they can, the belief level. They, they, they rooting for you. They see it's done. I'm next. Who wants to be next? So that's really going to be a tool that you can utilize after you've done it, okay? And then the feeling... After working hard and getting it done, there's nothing like it. So I'm going to turn it back over to you, Mr. Wilkins. 
Absolutely excited. You, you hit it on the nail. It, it's going to the next level. And, and guys, I'm telling you, I, I was talking with Vivian and Juarez, and we were kind of mapping out where they were in, as, as it relates to getting uh, Ruby done or completed, because it's already done. Okay, it, it's done in the spirit. It's done in your mind. It, it's done on paper. Once you've mapped it out, like Nina was talking about on your on your uh, chart, it's done. Okay, it, it's done, and, and that's what you got to speak. I, I'm telling you, it's done. No, it's done. Oh, it's done. My, my reload. Mm -hmm. It's done. Okay, and any of that. You you just you get to the point. It, you just keep saying it's done. Now, after it's done, we've got to go do the work to get it complete. Okay, after it's done. We have to do the work to get it completed. And that work, ladies and gentlemen, has to do with exactly what Pam and Suniata were doing last month to go Ruby. This month, they've already promoted a Ruby and are getting ready to promote another Ruby. Why? It's done. You, you understand what I'm saying to you? So language is the software of the mind. Language is the software of the mind. So proud of, of Suniata and, and, um, and Pamela Ferguson. They, 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 uh, we, we talked about, I think it was Linda, uh, a couple of weeks ago, and they're like, "Oh yeah, J Mr. it's done. That, that's completely done." They didn't call, "Oh, Jared, you know, you, you got somebody you're gonna place here from." No, it was. <laughs> it was done. Yeah, guys, I'm telling, I'm telling you, it's it's the, the philosophy of 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 really going to the next level. Ask Nina about it. Nina called, Jared, you know, we got this. It went, "Oh, Jared, you know, you know, if you if." If you, my spot, you know, if you would do that, no, 24 hours. You, you got this, guys, they're at home. People are at home. Mary and, Powell and just went Ruby. Jared, Mary Powell just crossed Ruby. Come on, Mary. Is come she on. on here? She on there. Mary, she on huh? there. Mary, come on to the line real quick. Right there. there she is. <laughs> Where's Mary Powell? There she go. There she Mary, unmute yourself. Mary, congratulations. <laughs> How you holding up? How you feeling? Oh, we can't hear you. Unmute your line. <laughs> Mary, you got to unmute. We can't hear you. She's so fired up. <laughs> unmute. It will let you. It will let you. Click on mute. Let me find her. I've got, I've got you unmuted. Go back to gallery view. Okay, it says you're unmuted on, on our end. Mm. Brand new Ruby in the house. That I call it, I call it the Ruby run. This is the believer's position. Are you there? They want to hear from you. They tired of hearing from me. My story <laughs> old. I'm like one of them old babies. You know, and nothing like the new babies, them new babies. Ooh, them new babies. When you get like three four, they be like, oh, I got okay. her banner ready for it too, right here. It was ready. Hey, it was post that ready. and tag me in that. Guys, right. make make sure all of your rank advancements. Listen to me, team. Come on, team. We got to be sharing everybody's rank advancements, okay? And this, this, up, this upcoming week, to, over the next 24, 48 hours, let's do a better job. Remember, I always say a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. If they, I don't care if they went executive, they went, here's the deal. The people watching on social media and they are watching, they don't know the difference between a ruby and a diamond. They don't know the difference between a diamond and a triple or they don't, all they know is, whoa, somebody, watch this, is getting recognized. Men die for it, babies cry for it. Recognition, okay? I, I was talking, you know, Mary, if you could come on, let me know. Uh, we tr we're trying to unmute you, I'm trying to hear from you. She said one minute, I'm signing somebody well, else. She's word. actually one body away from being structured for Emerald. So she didn't stop, she knew that she was close to Ruby and we just kept working and working and working and she's one body away from being fully structured for Emerald. So the month ain't over. We not stopping tonight. We ain't stopping. <laughs> Look, Nina, as the psalmist, uh, the psalmist would say, don't stop, get it, get it. All right. Uh, <laughs> I know somebody just passed out when I said that. Anyway, I like <laughs> anyway, any questions real quick? Any questions, any comments real quick? Is that her? I am just super fired. I'm super, can you hear me, Mr. Wilkins? I can't. Go ahead, step. I am super fired up. It's like I keep watching the clock because it's like I know people are going to, uh, they're up late. But I have had 14 brand new customers this month. Um, and Come I really counted at 17 because of 
the ones that ordered more than one product, they get counted more than one as more than one uh, loyal customer. And as Nina had had us do this little, um, oh, you know what? I'm sorry, guys. I we had to dial you. in because uh, we can see you. We can, can hear you. You can hear you. Where she went? She said 14 loyal customers and disappeared on us. Stephanie, come back. <laughs> She is having a record month. She fired me up two weeks ago. I thought, I, you know, you get those calls sometimes, guys, and we've all been there. You get those calls. You just know it's about to be some bad news. I'm like, brace yourself, Mr. Wilkins, for uh, this news and how you're going to really lead through it. Oh, no, it was great news. And I was like, oh, okay, come on, talk to me. <laughs> so anyhow, uh, Stephanie, if you are, come back on uh, when you get a moment. Anybody else real quick here? You can unmute yourself, guys. Margarita's close to Hi, Mary. This is Karen. You go, girl. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy for you. Yes, indeed. Look at Karen. Okay. <laughs> Karen is structured for um for Karen is one body away from being structured for diamond. Marguerite will hit diamond when Karen goes emerald because Mary just went ruby. So Karen's got one ruby to finish out, and then boom, Karen is, and then Marguerite is a diamond. Come on, Faison. Faison. <laughs> I love it. I My love team it. is awesome. Woo! Absolutely. Absolutely. Congratulations in advance. I, I'm waiting for that. That's going to be big. That's going to be real big. What I was saying, guys, remember when these banners come across, you see them, make sure you're sharing them. Share them to your oh wife, share them to your groups. Uh, because a candle loses nothing by lighting another candle. Any other any other questions, comments? I know I was talking about Vivian and Juarez. One of the things that we were doing, uh, and we've been doing it, and I find this, and, and some of you leaders, you could speak to this as well. The fact that when you've got somebody that is is right there about to go to the next level in their business, they're about to get promoted to Ruby, they got about to get promoted to Emerald, Diamond, whatever it is, your conversations with them are a lot more often, okay? If you're one of the coaches, if you're the lead coach, your conversations are, are, are with them are a whole lot more often, and that's, that's number one. Number two, we're coming up with strategy, and I was sharing with them, what you want to do is you want to look at how much volume you, 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 you require, okay? How much volume is required? How much do I need? How much do I have remaining? It's exactly what Nina was talking about. And now we know what that number is. Write this down. In order to grow the number, you must first know the number. Okay? So it, it can't be ambiguity when it comes to, okay, when, when are you going diamond? When are you going? I already know, you know, based on what my structure is. You heard what Nina just talked. Okay, they're one body away. I know, okay, I need this. I, I need that here. I need, okay, I need another emerald. I need another ruby. No, I can't place that here. I need this here. Why? Because I, I'm running a business. Okay. Now, once you find out, okay, how much volume you, you need to go to that next level. Okay. Now you break it up by the amount of days you have left. So I'm a thousand dollars in volume away. I'm 2000 in volume away. I'm 3000, whatever it is. Okay, cool. How many hours, how many days do I have? Oh, I've got a day. I've got two. Now I break it down. Okay. I need X amount of dollars in volume the next 24 hours. So for example, if I was a thousand in volume away and I had, you know, three days or four days, what I say is, okay, a thousand divided by four, whatever that number is, that's what I need th this, this day. And I just look at it from day to day to day. So now what you want to be looking at for the month of March is, okay, what is my goal? What is my goal? Not what's my, my sponsor's goal, not what is my Uplines go, what is my upline need? That's all wonderful. But I want you to be, I, I want you to be not selfish, but I want you to be focused. I want you to be focused on what you need to lead. What, what is it? I love what Stephanie Allen was talking about. 14 customers. Ladies and gentlemen, the, 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 sh the, the, the shift happened for me a couple of months ago in terms of whether you enroll a distributor or you enroll a customer we get paid not on distributors or cut or, or customers we get paid on volume so whether that volume was ordered by a distributor or if it was ordered by a customer you're still getting paid 
and promote it on the volume. Obviously, we know there's structure in place for you to go Ruby, Emerald, and all of that. But what I want you to focus on right now, these next 24 hours, you enrolling distributors, great. I, I want you to also focus on enrolling some customers. Stephanie, I, I see you're back on. I'm gonna bring you back on here. Uh, and, and so you can go ahead and finish out what you were saying. Yes, sir. I was saying, um, I was, and I had been calling Mr. Uh, Mr. Fisher every day, but um, I've been focused on customers because I know that customers are going to stick around. They, they just are. They love the products. And so I've gotten 14 new customers this month. Um, I wanted to get 50 customers uh, on the books. So I'm up to like 26 right now, but 14 of those are brand new. And uh, I was smiling as Nina was talking about going through all the people that have canceled, getting them to be loyal customers, because I told Mr. Fisher that just the other day, I've gone through several of them and gotten five, uh, you know, new five of them that have canceled to be a customer. If you're not going to, you know, you love the products. And so anyway, um, that is such a great idea to just go through and get all those people that have canceled. Hey, I know you love the product. What do you like? And, and as uh, Nina had us send out the five text messages just a few minutes ago, I had one lady text me say, I was just about to call you because I need some more of those hair, skin and nail vitamins. She bought them retail the first time just off of me because, you know, hey, pop that trunk and sell whatever you have. And so anyway, now she wants to be a loyal customer because she can tell the difference in her, in her hair, the fullness of her hair already. She was having some thinning in the crowning of her head. And so anyway, she was just getting ready to call me when I text her. Wow. And so it's just exciting. Getting a, I mean, it's so easy to get a customer. It just is. So like, what are great. you texting or are you calling these, these, uh, these folks? Um, I actually called them. I called them on the phone. I haven't really been texting because it's like, I want to let it, because like uh, Nina says, they feel the excite. They hear the excitement in your voice. And they're like, you're just so passionate about your business. I said, because I am, you know, you can, a, a person can hear a lie in your voice. They can just, they can tell that you're full of bull. And so you just have to be real with them and just, uh, if they trust you, they're going to do business with you. And so I call people that like, Hey, I need a favor. Even if you want, like I said, I just need a favor for 90 days. I said, if you really care about me, you will do me a favor. And so anyway, you just kind of make them put that guilt trip on them really. <laughs> and so it just works. But I actually have, have, I haven't had anybody to say no, really. I have my list and every day I add to my list, but I just go down the list and I just call them and I just ask them to do, to do me a favor. And most people just, they're going to stay, they're going to stick around. Uh, I've been calling all of my dad's pastor friends and, uh, hey, they're all older and they all need this product and they love our Skinny Brew coffee. And um, I was like, uh, the other day I called one of his pastor friends and the wife was buying some collagen offline from somewhere. And when I told her that ours was 40 bucks and she goes, only $40? And I'm thinking, you know, wow. Here's some people complaining about 40 bucks and here she's uh, on a fixed income and thinking only $40. She goes, well, I am so glad you called. But I've just been, uh, just been focused on my customers all day, every day. I've just been calling, 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 leaving messages. If I have to leave a message, I'll call them back later because I mean, I know they're at home. They're not, they're not supposed to be out running around. So. I just keep calling because I'm focused. I am, I'm fired up. Um, I've been up all day, every day, hardly getting any sleep. I know I need to sleep, but it's like you can't sleep when, you're, when your mind is focused on what you need to be doing. Man, so back to you, Mr. Wilkins. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Appreciate the comments and, and sharing. Guys, get on, get on those phones is, is what I'm hearing. Get, getting on the phones and making those calls. Anybody else real quick? I'm here. Can you hear me now? Ah, we can. We I'm can. So Hold on, let me find you in the queue. Okay, there you are. I just wanted to thank um, Nina and Marguerite for the push. Um, there's many times that I've, I've wanted to give up. And um, at the same time, I was nervous about moving forward to the next level. But they just kept pushing me. I will call, I will call Nina and ask her a question. She said, oh, I don't want to hear it. No excuse. Get it done. Hang up. I'm like, oh, God. I got to do it. So I just wanted to just thank her so much for the push and, and, and reassuring me that I could do it. Um, I'm excited. So it's nonstop. And then when my pastor joined, I was like, okay, it's on now. I got to do what I got to do. So I just really thank um, Nina and Marguerite so much for their leadership and um, you, Mr. Jarrett, for um, what you do for our team. And I'm so excited. I'm ready to go to the next level. Absolutely. Tell me about this pastor. How did that come about? What, who, who called? What, walk us through that story because oh my God. <laughs> yeah, walk us through that story. Somebody's going to be inspired by that because somebody well, needs to call their pastor. Well, what happened was, um, I will, if, if no one knows that I am the receptionist at my church. So um, one day we had a, um, I think it was a business expo and um, Nina and Marguerite came down to, um, help out 
so he went over to the table and he was talking with her. They had their own conversation. So he told her um, about, um, she told him about the products and then um, he was inspired. It took him for a long time. I think he's on here, Pastor Michael. Um, it took him a long time. But then one day he came into the office. He said, tell me a little bit more about this, these products, these things that you're doing. So then I told him and he said, well, I think I'm interested. So then he became a customer and then he uh, joined the business. So um, I'm happy that he's aboard and he's really, really excited. So I'm looking forward just to become um, a part of our ministry. Awesome. I love hearing stories like that because it, it just, what it does, it demystifies success. Everybody's always looking for the 32 ways to talk to a person. What do I say? You just be normal, okay? Mm -hmm. Be excited, be normal, and, and share you know, share the product and, and share the, the concept. So thank you so much. Congratulations, Mary. Brand new Ruby in the house. Nina and that entire team, Faison out there getting it done. Uh, certainly excited about that. Uh, Pam and Suniata, is um, Linda on here? Let us know. Let me know if she's on here. Anybody else real quick before we get ready to close out? I have yeah, one more thing. I'm here. Oh, go ahead. Who is that? Is that Linda? McCullough? Yes, I'm here. Hey, Linda, congratulations. Come on hey, here. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you. Talk to us. What's going on? You you are not on video. Oh, my God. Oh, you muted yourself. Okay, unmute yourself. <laughs> I love this. Linda, you, you've muted yourself. You got to unmute yourself. Oh, hold on one second. Okay. All right, said video and scared her. <laughs> but I, I hung in there and mm -hmm. got it done. We didn't hear anything you said. Say it again. Oh, I hung in there. I worked hard and yeah. I pushed and pushed and got it done. You got it done. Got it done. Now, where, where are you? Are you in Dallas? Yes, I'm in Dallas. Over there in Dallas, Texas. How long have you been in the business? I've been in the business since February, February 8th. February 8th. So brand new 30-day Ruby. Ha have you ever done network marketing before? Never. 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 My background is accounting and tax. <laughs> accounting and tax. Now, how, how did you get involved in the company? Who told you about the company and, and why did you get started? Uh, me and Pam, we work together. Okay. So y'all yeah. up there hustling for your first name, and then she started talking to you about building it for your last name. Is that what happened? <laughs> Linda, you muted yourself. Linda must be over there smiling real big on the phone. She got the phone that's to her. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> so that's what happened, huh? Y'all started talking? Yes, every day. We sit right next to each other, and she just explained everything to me. She laid it all out, and uh -huh. I listened to a couple of your web webinars and got on a couple of calls, and just decided within what, I think it was maybe two weeks at the most, or maybe a week, and there it was. There it was. Now, did she give you samples of any of the product? Did you sample any of the product before you got started? Yes, I sampled the Skinny Brew, I mm. sampled the Keto, and mm -hmm. um, the Energy. There it is. Sample of conversation and a sample of information will create some collaboration. Come on, preach, preacher. All right, thank you so much, Miss Linda. Congratulations, excited for you. Uh, Emerald you. is completely done, right? Yes. Oh yeah, I'm already working on it. <laughs> You're already working? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations in advance uh, to you. Uh, Emerald is, is right there on the horizons. Anybody else real quick? I know, Stephanie, you had something else. Go ahead. I just wanted to say that we uh, will be closing out uh, Jerisha uh, for Emerald as well. Uh, she is right there at the finish line. And so we will be, she was on the call and she had to jump off and she said, I'm fired up. And she says, let's get this done. So yes, yeah, she's, she'll be closed out. She's already closed out. It's already done. So we'll have that done as well. Come on, closed out and already oh, yes, done. It's, it's done. It's done. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations. She's over in Ohio, correct? Ohio. Yes. In, in Ohio, Ohio. And, I, and I have a trucker that will be um, the guy that I signed up from uh, Virginia. He's actually going to be, he told me he's going to be moving to Texas in two months. And so he's, he's excited about our Diamond Day event. And uh, he's, he was a referral from a brother that lives here in Texas, but he lives, he's a trucker. And so okay. uh, he did a, I did a, a game plan 
game planning session with uh, Mr. Uh, Fisher with him, and so he's fired up. All right, I love it. I love it. Well, congratulations in advance. I can't wait for it to get completed with Jerisha so she can share how she almost missed her first conference. Uh, and, and I told her, uh, you know, I kind of really spoke this into existence. I said, I said that, you know, the green carpet, I said it. I don't forgot what I said because she was going. She was laughing because she told me, she says, uh, Mr. Wilkins, she said, I never told you exactly what he said to me. She was telling me this day before yesterday. She said, if Oprah was coming into town and uh, she said, you gave her the Oprah story. Uh, she said, I would tell Oprah to fly her, to fly me down there on her private jet. But yeah, she told me what you said to her. I was cracking up laughing. Yes, indeed. <laughs> she said she wanted to come to the green carpet and not to the conference. I told her, oh, the, 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 the green carpet is canceled. We ain't doing that no more. And, and here it is, Corona. Anyway, but but that's all. We got to be careful what we said around here. Anyway, any, any anybody else? Real quick, comments, questions, whatever it is. Before hey, we close hey, out. Hey, Mr. Wilkins, can you hear me? This is Jennifer. Niven. Hey, wanted to shout out Harmony. She's literally like forty BV away from Ruby. And um, come on, Harmony. Where is she? is she on here? She is. Harmony, come on to the line. Harmony, where you at? You know, I'll be, like, Harmony post some of the stuff? fun. If you want to laugh at some stuff, you you just having one of those moments, go to Harmony's page. You're going to fall out. But go ahead, Nivens. Yeah, so Harmony, she is 40 away from Ruby, and then Courtney is 200 away from Emerald. Wow, look at Courtney! <laughs> oh, is that Courtney? That's Courtney's page I was thinking of, actually. All right, all right, good deal. Congratulations, ladies. Ladies, y'all are dominating. Fellas, I, I don't know what we gonna do, but uh no, wait a minute. Sean Bell is not is like uh 250 away from Ruby, but he's only one, two bodies away from being structured for Emerald. Um, he enrolled a pastor that's just one body away from Ruby. We've got Pastor Leroy Bailey that's on here who's fully structured for Ruby, and his brother, uh Pastor Michael Bailey, which are Mary Powell's pastors. Pastor Michael, I think, is one body away from being structured for Ruby. So they ain't playing. They ain't playing. Connecticut, Ohio, they on fire. So, so the, men, the, the, men to, the men trying to fight back. The men fighting back. Pass oh, don't worry. We're going to fight back. We, we're about to come together and form Voltron. Y'all better stop messing with us. And Sean Dr. Is Bailey, over here where are you based out of? I'm based out of Hartford, Connecticut. How y'all doing? Oh, uh, We're excellent, sir. Hartford, Connecticut? Yes, sir. All right, all right. So we're getting it done this month then. Oh, yes. We represent oh, yes. the heartbeat. The heartbeat is pulsing. So we want to make sure that we get to where we get. We're extremely proud of Mary Powell. She is a tremendous, a tremendous asset to us, and uh, she's inspiration. Yeah. And I say that seriously. Um, I'm the one that took a long time to join in. Um, and Nina, blame Nina. Um, Nina made a call to my brother, mm -hmm. and she went looking for me while I was on my way to lunch. And she interrupted my lunch and said, you need to get on now. She used what we call the power of influence. Mm. And since she has influenced me, I'm ready to influence others. As you're speaking, I've been texting um, so many people um, and I've been blessed. We were texting actually, um, as you were speaking, not being rude, um, but I asked for the replay of last night's call, which I think is quite important to also acknowledge on this training that if you can get gain access to a previous call um, you don't have to wait till tomorrow you can hit them up right now and say listen to this um, get to it matter of fact i have somebody right now who's listening to the call from last night and uh it's my prayer and just like you said speak it into existence um let's make some things happen oh i love it already that, that's that's what I call diamond talk right there. That's that's diamond and above talk right there. I love yeah, it. Well, congratulations. See, the fellas, we're well represented. Don't forget, guys, you can use the visioncarrier.com site. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar. Visioncarrier.com. I was talking, I did a three-way call earlier with uh, Karen Johnson. Karen Johnson. I did a call with her earlier, and I was talking with a lady that got started, hadn't seen a presentation, just tried the skinny brew, and and got started and she was talking about okay so what do we do how do, how do how do i go about doing this i was like have you seen a presentation she was like no i haven't seen one and so uh, one of the things that I, I want you guys to start doing or make sure you're doing because i guys listen to me 
to enroll a new distributor to enroll a customer is so simple to do because of our products, how they feel, how they taste, how they make a person feel. But you want to get a person not only started, but get them engaged. Let them see a presentation, just like Dr. Uh, Mike was talking about. Let them see a presentation so that they can share the presentation. So, you know, our, our business model, people ask, okay, well, Jared, how do I go about doing this? And I shared this on a call the other day. I think, yeah, me and Nina and, and I think Tracy was on there and, and uh, Pastor Rasheed Coleman was on there. And I talked about our concept of marketing. It's no different than if you went into a mall or went to the Galleria Mall or any mall, you go to a food court. And, and typically at, in the food court, you'll see somebody with a tray in their hand. How many of you have seen that before? See them with a tray in their hand. They got a toothpick going through some meat. Come on, come on. Tell the truth, shame the devil, right? And, and watch this. People will go over there and get a sample of that meat, not knowing what type of meat it is. You don't know if that's cow, duck, squirrel. You don't know what, to, you don't know if it's bat meat. You don't really know, but you go sample it. You take that sample and based on the taste of that sample, you go and order that, you know, General Tasso's chicken. You go order that loud man. You go order whatever it is because you sample the product and it tastes good. And so our whole approach to business, if you can gravitate towards this concept, it, we don't have a sales-based business. We don't. Now, you get paid on sales volume. I get that. But this is not a traditional sales business. This is a sample-based business. You're sampling two things. You're giving people a sample of the product and a sample of the information about the business. Those are two things you're giving a sample of. Let them sample the product. Just look, think of yourself as that person st standing in the mall, the online mall, with your tray of keto coffee, your tray of skinny brew, your tray of super, super greens or super reds, your tray of product, and you are exposing it so people will come take a sample. And guess what happens? The majority of people, once we sample that product, we go place an order. Okay? That, that's the concept I really want everybody bought into and really understanding in terms of what it is that we're doing and, and how it is that we're working. So appreciate that. Anybody else real quick before we close out here? Mr. Wilkins, can you hear me? Hey, Alex, go ahead. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, hey, I can. Uh, just wanted to uh, introduce myself to Dr. Uh, Michael Bailey. Uh, I'm actually from Hartford, Connecticut as well. So how are you, sir? Uh, really just that, that right there really resonated with me to really – folks understand how large your, your network actually is. Um, don't be confined to where you are. Um, basically, you know, this business stretches across every state in the United States or international as well. Um, so that really prompted me to make sure that I really examine um, my circle, my network. Um, and it's just very interesting um, to see an individual from my hometown uh, that I really didn't even reach out to. So um, continue just to think, uh, build locally, think globally, as you always say, and uh, turn the call back over to you. I uh, appreciate you for sharing that. You're so right. Uh, did you know Dr. Bailey already? Um, I'm not sure if that's still, if that's the same Dr. Bailey. I know there was a pastor of First Baptist Church in um, Hartford, so I'm not exactly sure if that is the same Michael Bailey, but... Um, yeah, yeah, we're, we're the son. Me and my brother are on here. Uh, okay. Yeah, so... Both of us are on here. All right. Well, definitely we'll connect with you after the call, sir. Absolutely. The Bailey boys are here. All righty. I love it. I, I know. Love it. That is so interesting. I am actually born and raised in Hartford, Connecticut. Y'all better stop all this before I come and, and find each and every one of you and beat y'all into diamond ship. Y'all going to let Dr. Bailey come on here and the Bailey brothers come take over. Y'all been over That's here. Right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Because I kept calling and I kept calling like, y'all, you're getting in the center. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I, love I was it. like the plague. I was like the plague on them. <laughs> that's that's what it takes. With the right ones, guys. My philosophy is very similar. I follow up until they buy or die. All right. I, I keep following up with the right people. Okay. Mr. Booker, before we go, yes. Miss Nivens over here talking about uh, uh, what's the name uh, is away two hundred away from. Who did she say? Who's who's two hundred away? Nivens, who who's two hundred BV away or two hundred GV away? 
Courtney. She's like 180 Courtney. away. And then you got one person that's 30, 40 away. Harmony's 40 away from Ruby. Miss Nivens is 200 away from Diamond. Boom. Look at Nivens. She's she trying she, to downplay her. Oh, yeah. she oh, sweep that under the rug. Well, I look, I knew that, but I didn't, she didn't say nothing. So I didn't want to put her business out there. Uh, uh, cause you oh. know, she tries to be the silent assassin around here. So I just let her make it. I don't, you know, say a whole Hi, bunch girl. of nothing like that, but, but we, 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 we're right there. We're right there. It, you know what? It's done. Done. It's, it's done. Nibbins. Look at Nibbins. Look at It's look. a wrap. We're structured for we about we triple. Get. So we, we're pushing this thing. I love Come it. Come on, Nibbins. Thank y'all. <laughs> All right, all right. Any anybody else, real quick? Congratulations in advance again, Nivens. We talked. I think that was yesterday. Or day for you, whatever it was. I made a. Uh, I had. Uh, I was in the streets. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I had to get out the house. I was in them streets. I went over to Cracker Barrel. You know, I felt an anointing what? pulling on me at Cracker Barrel. But anyway, so anyhow, uh, <laughs> uh, y'all fix your faces. All right, anybody else, real quick? <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilkins. Yes, sir. Look at me. Uh, no hate out, on my uh, Cracker uh, Barrel. I got the little bottles of syrup too. All right, who is that? Uh, Sunyata, go ahead. Hey, um, man, for me, the thing is, you know how we always say events change lives? I'm still vibrating off of what happened at conference. Remember, I wasn't even coming to conference. Yeah. And, and what's happening now in our organization is because I went to, to conference. And, and again, thank God my wife is, uh, is not only a praying woman, but she's very strong. And so, you know, us doing what we had to do to get me to conference is why we were able to come back, us go Ruby, then break a Ruby and, and set our organization up to break a few Rubies next. So, um, again, people, I, I don't underscore the importance of events, whether it's right now, it's, it's our Zooms, right? So those are events, showing up for those consistently, showing up for training. And, of course, um, uh, our Diamond Soiree in, uh, in June definitely need to be there as well because I promise you, as we continue this fire that we're on between now and June, everybody that shows up for that event when they leave, man, what's about to happen in their business this year, the coronavirus and the corona pandemic is going to pale in comparison to the fire we're going to set on this industry. So I'll turn it back over to you, Mr. Wilkins. Thank you. Absolutely. You hit it on the nail. Events build belief. And um, I I'm telling you, the these Zooms that we're doing, that's why it's so important when we're doing things, guys, we're plugging in. You never know. One idea will, will be the spark. One conversation, one new person getting started, not even in your business, somebody else's business. That may be the spark that inspires you um, or even educates you in terms of what to do next or taking that next step. So I uh, certainly appreciate that. Congratulations as well. I know Emerald is completely done. A anybody else before we close out here? I, I think Mr. Wilkins, before uh, Mr. we go, Wilkins. I want to talk about the importance of us getting people in the system by tomorrow. Yes. If we do not get bodies in the system by tomorrow, people will not qualify for the fifteen thousand dollar bonus. So, it, it, you know, I'm I'm really not a fan for people joining and not boosting. But at this point, if they can boost next week for real. They can boost after the first of the month. We just need to get those bodies in because they will not be qualified to earn the fifteen thousand dollar bonus. And they will still have 90 full days, all of April, all of May, all of June, to get that $15,000 bonus. So yeah. some of you need to close it out and stop playing by tomorrow so that you get your bonus because you've been here quite a while. And tomorrow is the last day for you. Don't hold on saying, oh, they're probably going to extend it. Why would you wait for that? You could be working on the double diamond bonus if they, if they, ex if they extend it. We don't have any any. Um, verbiage right now saying that they're going to extend those bonuses. I haven't gotten anything. Mr. Wilkins hasn't gotten anything because he would have told me. I am telling you, do not bank on them, um, you know, extending those bonuses. It means that we have to get it done now. But for those of you who partnered this month or the end of February, you still have a full 90 days. But people must enroll by tomorrow at midnight. So the same way I was I was on past the Michael like white on rice. It's the same way now that you got to be on your prospects because if they do not get in by tomorrow evening, they cannot get in position and will not be in position for that $15,000 bonus. All right, that's it. Awesome. You're absolutely right. So guys, use that verbiage. You know, when you're calling some of these people, let them know, hey, listen, um, you know, 
obviously the we've got a bonus that's on the table, a fifteen thousand dollar bonus, uh, fifteen thousand dollar bonus that is on the table. But in order for you to qualify, you had to have enrolled, uh, you know, in the month of of March. Forty nine dollars. They are a distributor, like like uh, we were talking about. If they can boost right away, let them get that ultimate pack. Let them get the results pack. I think it's two ninety nine ultimate pack, five eighty nine or whatever it is. Uh, but the key is getting them in, keeping them in, and then moving them along. I think uh, Perry Beasley had something else here. Go ahead, Perry. Yeah, real quick, I just want to uh, let you know, Shanika uh, Dunlap is 100 away from Ruby. Shanika, all right. See, I love that. See, all of these promotions, it's happening, guys. Congratulations. 200 involved. That's done. That's done. That's That's one customer, two customers, three customers, whatever it is, buying $50 in volume. Uh, and it's completely done. So appreciate that. Congratulations uh, in advance. Anybody else before we close out? Mr. Wilkins, Tracy, just wanted to say very quickly, sir, I'm not sure if the men, can you hear me? Yes, go ahead. I'm not, I'm not sure if the men are aware, but I'm just kind of looking on here, and I know we got a lot of women that's a part of the team, but I think these men are coming, guys. So <laughs> and I'm just so proud to represent the fellows right now. So Pastor Bailey, you know, we appreciate you guys. Let's come on, knock out this, this Ruby thing. Let's go ahead and knock that out. But listen, we, we're, we're men and we're leading from the front. I know we got a lot of females that's a part of this team, that's a part of this company. But, uh, but I'm so proud, sir, that, that all the men are now stepping up and we're leading from the front. So um, what an incredible call. Miss Nina Moore, thank you so much for what you did for us tonight. Uh, thank you also for that incredible call for the, for the nail text. The, oh, the, yeah. the, Man, that was an incredible, very impactful call today. Um, we got we got a closure that we're doing tomorrow because of that call. And so we appreciate you so much. Thank you, Mr. Wilkins, for an awesome call, sir. Absolutely. Triple diamond, Mr. Tracy Fisher. You're right. The men are absolutely on here in a monumental way representing. We got men. We've got women. We've got all nationalities around the world, a part of this team and, and really a part of this family. And so uh, congratulations, guys. Thank you all so much. I know we went over just a little bit, about 30 minutes, but we didn't really budget it a time allotment. Normally our call is about uh, 60 minutes, but of course tonight was a little bit different in terms of Q&A and all of that. So I appreciate everybody being on. Let's close out real strong uh, over these next 24 hours, obviously making sure you're in constant, constant, number one, know what your goal is. Okay, what is your closeout goal for the month of March? Let April take care of itself. Let's look at March. What's our closeout goal for March? That's number one. Number two, making sure you're in constant communication with your coach. Who is the coach that is assisting you with getting that done? Okay. And then number three, let's put in the work. Let's get on those phones. Tomorrow is, what's tomorrow? Tuesday? Tuesday, right? Yeah, tomorrow's Tuesday. Nice Tuesday. Thing. We got all day Tuesday to get it done. It's already done. Let's go out and complete it. Thank you guys so much for being on tonight. God bless you. God bless your families, and God most certainly bless your dreams. Good night, everybody.